hello guys and welcome back again to my channel in case it's your first time of seeing me i'm anikan and i make lifestyle content jam content white content a lot of those kind of content and guys in today's video we're going to be talking about what's next after jam like after taking the jam examination i know that i left you guys hanging i'm really really sorry i'm back again with a new video to tell you of some things you can consider doing if your jam score is high if it's low if you didn't meet the cutoff mark this is the video for you even if you missed the cutoff mark this is share the video for you i'm going to be telling you different things you can do with your jam points these are some of the things that i did not know existed and some of the things here that i'm going to be talking about if you take advantage of it i'm telling you you're going to get that admission like very quick so guys let's dive right into the video guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button the like button and leave a comment down below on what you think now now i know some of us have written jam and waiting for the cutoff mark of the school while well, for some of us the school have constant cutoff mark i know there are some schools that are like that that their are, they are cutoff mark is at so so point like no matter what happens it's still that point while well, if you're waiting for your school's cutoff mark for jam it is all fine so you can judge using the past cutoff mark and yeah and hopefully it favors you and even if it doesn't favor you guys there are a lot of things that you can do to still get that admission but before i go any further it would not be fair for me to tell you not to tell you about this opportunity that i just discovered like a mail came into my mailbox and i just had to share it with you guys because it is something that is going to really help you now there is this seminar that is going to be holding in this june yes stay with me this june and it's going to cover a lot of things like a lot when i when you talk about gaining admission changing of institution changing of courses gaining admission into top courses far like courses that are top top like medicine law pharmacy not that other courses are not important they are very important too but you you get what i'm saying these courses with very high cutoff mark how to gain admission into those kind of courses you're going to be having talk a lot of mentorship like i really love their their motto so this program kind of values mentorship and they are trying their best to make students get admission into their course their, their desired courses so you are still scared you don't know how whether or not the admission process is going to favor you and um even when it comes to issue of getting gaining admission with low jam score like 1000 era you have access to the seminar and you even be added to a whatsapp group like whatsapp group with other students and the guy that is spearheading this whole program is a final year medical student we know the joke now you know medical students are very very serious and for me when i just saw that clause a final year medical student i just knew that this one is going to be serious and is going to have students at heart so if you're interested even if you want to get in admission into you want to get admission into any other course whether it's law or whatever you should de definitely register for this program and guys if you register for this program please leave, you can leave a comment indicating that you registered and um i might see you in the meeting i might or might not but just leave a comment or communicate and reach out to them please let them know you're from me because if you tell them you're from me i get a particular commission i'm just going to tell you guys so help me support like support this channel like just by registering you tend to support me so thank you guys now the first thing now this is for people with low jam scores like if you have low jam score i'm going to be listing out some programs that you should consider and i know people personally who have gotten into university using this program i'm going to start with my favorite my favorite i got in to the i got into the university through the jam um platform i got in through jam like writing jam passing jam like i went through this um process and for the first time i was so unlucky it was my second time but you don't really have to waste time any longer like if this one does not work you can try this while trying that one for me i still think jam is the best but as you're running other programs you can also be enrolling for jam so now this process the first one that i really like is remedial science this one is for science student only i don't think they are including arts i think it's only science remedial science my school does it university of just does remedial science program where they invite people i think you're supposed to have up to a certain jam score or 
it depends on the school shall. some schools don't even require your jam you just come for the remedial program and you write jam yeah i know you still have to write jam but what you are sure of is that you're going to get admission that is the thing i love about remedial programs you are certainly going to get admission if you do well sometimes they will give you the course that you really want they give you options to put first choice second choice third choice like list of choices so even if they don't give you the first one, they'll give you the second one. If they don't give you the they'll give you the third one. So that is how it really works for the remedial program. And I know someone personally who benefited through this program. And a lot of my classmates got admission through this remedial science program. You have to write a jam, but they really love their exams a lot. You write their own exam, and if you have the desired point, you get admission into that course. And even if you don't get admission into that course, but you have a good point, they are going to certainly give you another course. I don't think they have dropped people like that. The only way they will drop you is if you fail their exam. That one, there's nothing they can actually do for you. They will drop you. But if you pass, you will certainly have that admission. Like, even if it's not to that course, they will give you another course. And for me, what greater good is there than staying at home and wasting the whole year? So you should try considering remedial science. You can also write jam alongside that. So another one that a lot of people don't talk about is IJMB. That is the Interim Joint Matriculation Board. Yes, but the thing with IGMB is I think you should find out this university that accepts IGMB so that you don't end up wasting your time for a university that you had in mind. Like for example now, I can be doing IGMB with hope that I'll get admission into Uniben and I realize that Uniben they don't accept IGMB. So things like that happen, so you have to really be sure, but I'm sure ABU Zaria, ABU Zaria are one of the they are, that is um, Amado Bello Investors are uh, they are one of the pioneer states that started this um, program so operate on its point scale like I said I didn't go through this program but I know a lot of people that do there are a lot of points I think it's like seven points at least 16 points they have a point scale sha and the higher your points the higher your chances of getting into the course you really want to get so if you're somebody that can study hard and can read and score really high points you are at high possibility of getting that admission you want but please bear in mind that anything can still happen they might still give you another course or not have at all if your point is not good but i think if your point is good you're certainly going to get a course and another thing you can also consider is jupeb which is the joint university preliminary examination board oh that was so long for me to say it was oh my god the light is having issues that was so long for me to say but this one is done in some schools like i think unilag accepts it so you should con highly consider Unilag if you're doing Jupeb and um, some other universities too. Just find out the university that accepts Jupeb. Jupeb is just like IGMB. For me, I see it as the same thing as IGMB because they operate also on the point scale and the higher your points, the more chances you are on getting in. So you can consider these A-level programs. They are called A-level programs because you go straight into 200 level. Most of the time, you go straight into 200 level. I don't know whether they will say 200 level here, but most of the time, you go into 200 level like after completing it and doing everything because you're like doing the a level courses like 100 level courses already so you just go straight into 200 level so it's like you didn't miss a year you didn't miss anything did you miss anything you didn't miss anything so another thing you should also consider is getting a diploma i know that there are some schools i think unilag does that they give diploma in some certain courses that affords you the chance to go into those courses i don't really know much about this diploma but you can find out and see whether it's a route of entry into these courses that you want if it is not try other means of entry so guys Take note that these means of entries are not the only means of entries. But our last route of entry is Polytechnic. That is the direct entry route that is going to Polytechnics, College of Education and Nursing Colleges. For Polytechnics, um, for me, I can swear by Federal Polytechnics. You have ND and HND program. So you can do your ND program. ND program is usually two years. And HND varies depending on the course you're doing. Then you can just do your ND program, then try direct entry. So while that is still happening, you can continue your HND. And if the admission comes, you can go to that or finish up HND, still do direct entry again and write jam at the same time. Like you're killing two stones at the same time because you're going to get a certification at the end of the day and 
with that you can still go if you really want to enter a university you can still go to the university and finish up or you can just use that and start working the same thing apply for college of education i don't really know a lot about colleges of education but i know you can also do direct entry into the education faculties and the last one which is nursing colleges there are a lot of nursing colleges actually um a lot of federal state knowledge college and um, nursing colleges so you can go to nursing school i think nursing school they are going to call you for their own exam you go write the exam if you pass the exam you gain admission i i don't think it goes through the jam process it doesn't do that it just as far as you pass the exam you get in then they give you another exam subsequently if you pass that one you get right into the real nursing nursing then when you're done with the program you can still use the results you get to apply as a direct entry student into the faculty of nursing and get your bnsc because with this one you get rn i don't know but you get a nursing certification too which allows you to practice as a licensed nurse so you can do that for me i think the best thing is this um certification you get certified it's not like you wasted time there's no wasted years attached so this is something that you should consider so because i'm sure polytechnics cut off mass are usually lesser than universities so you can get into a polytechnic federal polytechnic i would advise you to go into a federal polytechnic that is more preferable more no shade intended but i think federal polytechnics are the best so when you get into a federal polytechnic then you apply to a university then you you can pick it up from there even if you don't get the admission you get your certificate from this polytechnics which you can also use to apply for jobs so guys these are some of the things i think a lot of things here people did not tell me about it what are some of the things i wish i was told i wasn't told some of these things so i had to waste a whole year you don't have to waste a whole year anymore so take advantage of the seminar take advantage of the tips i gave here in this video let me know down below if these tips were helpful to you and have helped clear some sort of your confusion just let me know let me know down below until next time guys bye